I'm doing belled up pipes on the 7.3 Power Stroke. These are some belled up pipes from Riff Raff Diesel. You can see just how high quality these things are and should be the permanent fix to fix the leaky stock up pipes that use the donut gasket. So for removing the turbo, first thing to do, air filter and all your boots. And then you got your Y pipe, take all that off. And then take the band clamp off for your down pipe. Then you have a uh, 213 millimeter bolts up here, which are pretty much a straight shot. You can use pretty much just a straight extension and get to them. But these down here, these you need a flex socket. These are some Duralast uh, flex sockets and they're a 15 millimeter. So take that and some extensions and then feed it up through like I have here. And probably the easiest thing to break these free is I use PB Blaster. I tried breaking them free before and they just would not budge. I mean, I was really cranking down on them trying to get them to break free, but sprayed this on, let it soak for about 10 minutes, just keep spraying it and let them soak real good with this stuff and it actually works. PB Blaster. So for this side, I know people like to take off the exhaust back pressure, valve housing and all that, but I was able just to get to it with that 15 millimeter uh, flex socket and a six inch, six inch extension with this decent size 3H ratchet. And you can see the down pipe and everything is still here. So you got enough room. And this side's the same story pretty much. Just use enough extensions to get up here. And then a bunch of PB blaster that really helped a lot. And got it loose. And then these already loosened. So you got those there. And then these are 10 millimeter. You got two up here for the pedestal. And then there's one back in there. And one back in there. And you can see that those old up pipes were leaking. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so for this back pedestal bolt, I have a small three eighths extension there. And then it goes to the adapter down to quarter inch. And a few extensions that go down to a quarter inch swivel that goes to a shallow 10 millimeter socket. And I'm able to, able to get to that bolt back there. You can see it kinda. And then just use the ratchet up here for uh, this side here. For this back pedestal bolt, few quarter inch extensions and then the shallow and the universal joint and it's down in here you can uh snake it between the collector and down through here and the bolts down in there here's the turbo out you just gotta get these back bolts out enough and it's pretty hard to get to them but it's those two back there but there's a turbo and make sure to always use new o-rings don't try to reuse those so pick them out and get some high quality ones and put them in there okay here are the riffraff diesel up pipes installed this uh, driver side was pretty hard to install. I had to uh, take the rear cross member of the trans out and then drop the transmission down. And then I even had to use the porter power and bend it 
a little bit back in there to get it through. But finally, after like four or five hours working, trying to work at it, I got it. But there they are. So got a new collector and studs and nuts and bolts for it right here. Here's the turbo and the new pedestal. I ended up keeping the EBPV uh, valve on it. I might, I might delete that in the future, but I figured I'd keep it like this. So there it is. I'll torque down from the turbo to the pedestals, 18 foot pounds with these new O-rings. And then those two are for the block. And then here's the riffraff diesel up pipes and collector. You can see it in there. That's just a factory collector, a brand new one, and new studs in it. And the up pipes and the three inch down pipes sit next to it. Okay, so put your turbine inlet gasket on the collector there, and the studs hold it. All nice and shiny looking with all that. And then for these back bolts, when the collector's right here, you're not able to slide these in. So use a rubber band that puts pressure to hold these up so they're not uh, dragging around and poking through. So keep those bolts like that and then pull them up a little bit into the holes. And the front ones don't matter. You just put those in because those are easy to get. Get your new O-rings in here, lube them up, and then make sure it's all clear before and clean. You don't want any old material if the old O-rings left anything behind. So that needs to be a good surface underneath them. And then just put them in. All right, so I got the turbo all back in here. And I've run this thing for about 800 miles or so i think since i did the job and absolutely no leaks so far which is good getting the turbo on is a bit of a pain the collector needs to be able to move around so you can slide the turbo up on the studs but after enough messing with it it'll slide down on the collector and then just line those bolts up the new uh, bellowed up pipes from Riff Raff Diesel. And I got that down pipe, that diamond eye three inch down pipe. I put that in before I did the turbo. That really helps it breathe. So that, the down pipe and the hydro chip I did recently really helped this thing. So yeah, no leaks. And it's nice that it's all sealed up. So, yeah.